Hi, my name is Asim Faraz and I am a lead assessor at Best Practice Certification for Integrated Management Systems. The best thing I like about being an assessor is that when you're assessing someone, you're actually trying to figure out the understanding level of that organization and particularly that person who is implementing the management systems. And Best Practice is the best platform I have found which actually encourages the auditors to have discussions with their clients rather concentrating on writing reports and volumes of findings and non-conformances. So we spend very quality time while sitting with our clients and telling them, okay, this is how you can improve by identifying the opportunities for improvements and observations. And the best part is then when I leave a client, I can see a satisfaction and a passion to accomplish things which we just have discussed. So this gives them new avenues to explore in the future to take their management system to the next level. The management system which Best Practice has implemented internally is the best thing I have ever seen because it focuses more on, on monitoring and measurement. There is a saying that if you cannot measure anything, you cannot control it. And if you cannot control it, you cannot improve it. Uh, from my experience while working with best practice and receiving the stats on weekly basis is actually the best example I have seen regarding monitoring and measurement. And this is the reason we are controlling things and we are on the path of continuous improvement. One of the key issues I have identified during assessments from my experience is lack of communication. Usually organizations overlook the root cause analysis. This is from my experience while doing assessments for different organizations that they have identified the potential issues through different modes of communication either through non-conformance either through complaints or feedback from clients so what i would like to suggest to different organizations that if something happens so they are tracking it through monitoring and measurement tools and if they're coming up with a result and they're finding that there is a recurrence of a certain finding or observation so they should go for a detailed root cause analysis by utilizing any of the root cause analysis tools and they should come up with corrective actions appropriately which could avoid the recurrence of that problem in the future. Eventually that would benefit to the productivity and efficiency of the organization. Hi, my name is Asim Faraz and I am a lead assessor at Best Practice Certification.